Hello, I hope you are doing great. This is Eric Okomado, your favorite freelance coach. It's a pleasure to have you here again. Today, I want to speak on preparing for an Upwork interview. You see, the opportunity to be interviewed by a prospective client on Upwork is a great one because many persons have been submitting proposals, tons of proposals without a response. So whenever you have an opportunity to be interviewed by a prospective client, it is a big opportunity and little mistakes can just ruin it for you. So today, I want to tell you the things you need to do to prepare for your Upwork interview. If you have an interview coming up, this video is all you need to prepare you for that interview. So you can ace it even before the interview. What are those things you need to do? The first thing you need to do when you are preparing for an Upwork interview, before the date of the interview or the time of the interview, take some time to research about the company and the person who wants to interview you. If you ask during your back and forth while you are still discussing with this prospective client via messages on Upwork, try to ask the name of the company, trying to understand the company. You already know the name of the person. Go to Google, whatever browser you are using, search about the company. Understand what they are into. As part of a recruitment team of a company I worked with, some persons lost an opportunity to work with that company just because they know nothing about the company. They will ask them about the company during interview and they knew nothing and that was why they did not get the job so do it to research about the company the person interviewing you research about that person especially if it is for a virtual assistant role because you want to assist that person you should be able to know how busy the person's life is how you can come in to make things easy for that person so it is very important that is the first step. Research about the company. And if they have social handles, you can follow them on Twitter, follow them on Instagram, follow them on whatever platform they are on. That will send a notification to them. Imagine if your prospective employer is the one that gets a notification. He opens the opportunity for interview for three or four persons, but you are the only person that research about the company and follow them even before the day of the interview. See, you've tilted the scale in your favor already. So do well to research about the company. That is the first step. Research about the company, research about the recruiter or the interviewer. So you have an information about them, you know what they need, and where you can come in. They may even interview you for a role and you've seen some other gaps within the company. You can bring that in during your discussion and that will just change everything for you. I know of someone who saw some gaps in a website when he researched about the company and pointed out to the owner of the company on LinkedIn. The person got automatic employment. Why? The person was not even qualified when you consider the yardstick that the recruiter brought up during the uh, process, but the person got the employment. So the next Next thing to do is that prepare your workspace you want to use for the interview before that time. Get a place that is well lit, that is clean, things are organized. If it is your bedroom you are using, if it's your parlor, if it's an office space, a shared space, whatever it is you want to use, even if it is outdoor, ensure the place is well lit and well arranged for your interview. Don't need a place where people are walking around. I was doing a session with someone some time ago and I could hear people in the background discussing and sometimes she was even discussing with them while she was talking to me. That was very distracting. You don't need to have that during an interview. If you are using a small space and you have relatives all around, please tell them, I have an interview. I need everybody to be quiet while I'm doing that interview. This is very important to me. Arrange everywhere. Then you are prepared for your interview. So the third thing is for you to dress properly. Don't take things for granted. I'm not saying you should dress us, suit up and all that. No, but dress properly. As a lady, ensure that your hair is properly arranged. Add some makeup if you need to. Just dress and appear in your best. As a guy, you can put on a t-shirt, a polo, whatever, but ensure that you are well groomed for the interview. It must not be formal, formal dressing but look cool and clean it is very important why this may not be what they are recruiting you for but it passes a message about your personality and that is very important your interviewer wants to see that you have your life together not you looking like hardship or looking like confusion if that is the case you actually ruin your opportunity to be uh, recruited for that job so please prepare for it dress well if you have to get your haircut get your haircut 
whatever you are doing, ensure that you have your best look and you are ready for the interview. So here's the fourth step, which is actually very important. Before the interview, try to restart your system, your laptop, so that if your laptop will be updating anything, your windows will be updating. Ensure you've seen this before time, update your windows because it may be frustrating. You want to join the meeting with the link. That is when your system starts updating or your system just does not work at that point. So a lot of programs may be running in the background of your laptop. You may not know, but when you restart your system, your system will function properly with few programs running. Close other Chrome, close other apps that are open so that your system will have enough space to run when you are having a meeting and you will not have any interference or disturbance during the meeting. So this is the fifth thing you need to do when you're preparing for an interview. In Nigeria, as well as in many African countries, your village people can work together with your internet connection to frustrate you so that you will not get that job and you will remain poor. So that Sapa will be your friend. You understand? So that poverty can look you straight in the eye face to face and tell you, I will kill you. So before your interview, do well to check your internet speed. As a freelancer in Nigeria, you can only be using one internet service provider you need to have them you need to have your airtel you need to have your mtn have your spectranet whatever internet service that's available in your locality try to ask and get the best if the best is not in your house you can visit a friend and tell your friend i know you have good internet i know you have 5g network please have an interview go to where you have good network because internet connection can just spoil your chances of getting a job the client is asking you so tell me about yourself you are speaking but i cannot hear you you are frozen you say sorry my internet is bad you have passed the message the person cannot rely on you because of your poor internet connection so you need to get it right because that very first day the person is interviewing you the person can just have a perception about you about your work environment and your mode of work and say i cannot rely on this so please and please get good internet connection before your interview so person we up for video interview they want to know the strength of your internet connection so get that right before your interview don't give room for the devil to frustrate your opportunity to financial freedom get your internet connection right lastly this is very important join the meeting five minutes before the time of the meeting if it's a zoom meeting you cannot join the meeting room but you'll just be there zoom will tell you waiting for the owner to start the meeting while you are waiting you can test your mic you can test your speaker before your prospective client joins the meeting so you test if your mic is working there's a place to test it you test if your speakers are working that means the person can hear you and you can hear the person it is frustrating when the person is saying i can't hear you at the beginning you may just be destabilized especially if it's your first interview so you need to be relaxed just join five minutes test this if you are using an external camera like logitech camera or whatever camera you're using test it to ensure that it's sync properly with your zoom and you can see yourself very clearly before the person joins the other thing this does is that when you join the meeting five minutes before the time of the meeting the person will get a notification via email from zoom that you have joined the meeting and waited. You have passed a message that you are very punctual. You are not the person they will be waiting for. This is better than you joining three minutes and say, ah, sorry, my laptop was angry. Or you say, ah, sorry, my network was just frustrating me. Oh, for an interview, you are not there working. You are already complaining and giving excuses. Oh, no problem. They will interview you and say, ah, we are sorry, you are good, but we are sorry we choose to go along with a different person so these are some of the things you need to do if you have really understood what the job is about there is no way you should prepare without first having a picture of what that job is about and you see that on the upwork description of the job you see that from the very beginning so that is given that you fully understand what the job is about then when you have done that these other things i've said will prepare you for a smooth interview we usher you to the next stage of the interview in my next video i'll be telling you how to conduct yourself in an interview how to respond to some interview questions so as to get the ideal job you are looking for
So just before you go, I want to put this invitation out. The chat with Eric session for the month of March is happening today by 8 p.m. West Africa time. If you are interested to be part of this session, please check the description part of this video. You'll see a link to my WhatsApp broadcast group. Click on that link, join the broadcast group. You'll get an invitation to the chat with Eric session for March. We have the chat with Eric session every month. In these sessions, you are able to interact with me one-on-one, -on -one, ask questions. I have other freelancers there who will be able to answer your questions and guide you so that you begin to win on Upwork and other platforms you may be trying to get job from. For those that will be joining this evening, I hope to see you this evening and I hope we have a fruitful celebration later today. Next week, it will be focused on how to conduct yourself and have a meaningful interview that will lead to your next big thing on Upwork or other platform. Before then, please take care of yourself and stay out of trouble. It's always nice to have you here.